Hey there, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see what is C-Sharp curve mesh connections with code examples. Come, let's do the deep dive. Connections in C-Sharp is happening in generations. Call it as generation 0, generation 1 and generation 2. As a first step in garbage collection, the short lived objects will be present in the gen 0. So uh, newly allocated objects will be present by default here and large objects directly sent to LOS that is gen 2 that we will discuss later and most of the objects will get claimed here. Um, gen 0 often reclaims enough space so that the program will run. Example for Gen0 is temporary variables. Now we are going to see the next generation that is generation 1 uh, garbage collection. Short lived objects and uh, it will act as a buffer for uh, short lived objects and the long objects. So basically what will happen is uh, uh, the object survived in the generation 0 will be present here. So uh, the next is the objects will not be re-examined in Gen 1 if the collection is happened, happening in Gen 0. So like uh, the re revisiting will not be happening. So this will happen if this collection in Gen 0 didn't collect, then this will run. Next we'll see the Generation 2, which is the final generation in the garbage collection. So the long-lived objects will be present here in the Generation 2. Sometimes this is called as the Generation 3 and the order number. So the uh, objects which survived from uh, generation 1 and uh, 0 and 1 will be present here and uh, the objects survived here will be termed as unreachable. So the, the number of objects which survived here will be termed as unreachable objects. So uh, example for this is uh, static data that lives throughout the life cycle of this application. The code example we are going to create we have created a gz example uh, one application with a class name gz underscore example where the main lives so here it is a very pretty simple and straightforward uh, example so uh, we are going to create a, an object for this gz example inside that itself like uh, so uh, we are having a one method called a create garbage if this uh, this create garbage method will uh, generate the objects hundred objects for string writer automatically Oh, sorry whenever it is called so so just we are just calling this thing and the one point to notice like gz dot get generation is the method that is provided by the dot net which we can pause the object which is created and find out which generation this particular object is the, the main this is the main object which is created so let's run this and we can see that gz objects is in the generation zero so uh, the conclusion is without uh, the the moment we create the object it will be automatically resides in the generation zero for generation one we are going to introduce this gc.collect after the uh, garbage i mean uh, chain of objects has been created so what will happen if we collect and see what is the generation number for that particular object so here remember the objects whatever we are created it still will be uh, in the memory but we are collecting it so what are the things that it surveyed it should be in the next generation one so what will be the output so the gc object is in the generation one so here we are we are creating a garbage objects under the hundred objects and then we are collecting but still this uh, GC, whatever the object which are created and that associated objects will be alive until the program is running. So it is, uh, it is aut automatically pushed to the next generation. Finally, we have arrived to the last generation of the uh, garbage collection. So what will happen? Like you see, uh, in the last step we have introduced gc.collect and uh, we have seen that the, the generation 1 objects, the 0 objects will be pushed to the generation 1 and we are going to collect uh, the another way like it, we are explicitly uh, uh, telling that um, it needs to be collected in the generation 2. So what will happen if we are forcing this thing uh, in the gc.collect? So you can see that uh, the GC objects is in the generation 2. That is the final thing. Since uh, the concept here is like uh, since uh, uh, then these particular object and whatever the objects we have created here has passed through the first zero generation 
initially by default and then after collect it is moved to because it is uh, still surviving so it is moved to the generation one and if you are collecting again and still it is alive i mean the the, the objects are being used so it is uh, it is pushed to the generation two that is the final thing and if it is uh, still used then as we discussed like uh, this will be uh, these objects whatever the associated objects will be termed as untraceable in this video we have seen uh, what is shisha garbage collection and how it is passed through different kind of generation in garbage collections with the code example i hope this video has helped you at least a bit keep watching thank you